once you've built all of your rig and it's all working and you've got your data mode all set up, presentation mode is what you go to in order to create your paperwork. It creates all your plots for you, it creates all your uh, reports, it does some very clever calculations, it'll work out all your hanging weights and your power loadings, um, and it allows, allows you to actually create, create all the paperwork that you'll give to your, uh, your venue or your, or your Lex team. So we're going to just have a quick overview of the presentation mode, understand how it works and how it integrates with the other modes. Uh, and again, later on, we're going to deep dive into the presentation mode and, uh, and cover this in some detail. Okay, on to lesson 12, presentation mode. I have to admit, I don't use presentation mode very often. Um, it only really comes up when I'm doing a show where I'm not using CAD or Vectorworks for my, uh, my drawings. If it's a, a show that I'm trying to do really quickly, I might have done a WYSIWYG model to do some visualisation and I thought rather than redrawing it in CAD or WYSIWYG, I just uh, I create a, a plot straight out of presentation mode. I know some designers use it use it a lot. Uh, the reason I don't like using it is because it's, uh, it's a quite a, uh, a basic um, style of uh, drawing. I like to have a little more control over what I'm doing with my drawings. You know, for instance, I, I can't easily edit the numbers and the channel numbers. Uh, if, uh, if WYSIWYG wants to do it a certain way, that's the way it's going to do it. Um, but we're going to cover that in detail later. There's lots of ways we can we can make drawings look nice and neat. And it is a very clever system. Um, I, I'd say I know some designers that swear by it, and for good reason. It's it's a very useful tool if if you don't need to use CAD and uh, or Vectorworks for your systems. So let's go to the presentation mode, and you'll see again it's uh, it's it's a different layout again altogether. You've got something that looks a bit like data mode, but then you've also got systems that look a bit like uh, the CAD mode. But this is quite this is quite cool here. This good place to start is our reports. So we're on the reports at the bottom here. It's first of all thing it's done is create an instrument schedule. We've only got two instruments, but it's given us uh, a bit of information, something that's come out of the data that it knows about that light, so it knows the wattage, both of them, it's given us a total wattage at the bottom. Uh, you could basically print this off as a uh, an instrument schedule for your team. So you know that uh, it's listed by unit, so It'll be based by position. If, you, if we we haven't put position in because we haven't named our um, our pipe, but if it knows that's the front of house one, it will be unit one and unit two. There'll be a channel number associated to it, and a dimmer, channel one, channel two, and the patch that it needs to be assigned to. Uh, you can do this loads of different ways. You can we can move all of these uh, libraries around so they'll you know in the correct order if if you don't like this order. They've got loads of pre-made reports which may, may, may make more sense to you. Um, circuit hookups, if you're doing um, you know, the, the, the dimmer information. Your spot schedule, if you just want to get some information about the type of spots you've got. Power requirements, it'll work out what the wattage is by position. Patch by channel, if you just need to go around and phone, you know, just whack the addresses into all your lights. Maybe you're working in the workshop and uh, you need to give them you know, the information so they can pre-address all your lights. You can see channel one, this address, so you can get it all set up uh, before they send it. Patch by Universe, quite good for the programmer. So you give that to them and they can start to, to create your patch in there. Um, and he goes on and on and on. Uh, there's a couple of useful things here I just want to point out. Um, if I can find them. Uh, colour count, that's really handy. We haven't put any colours in yet, but this will give you a list of all the colour and all the different frame sizes. So you can you know, do your, do your colour call and get all your colours ball. Notice it's been 30 minutes, obviously. I'm doing an autosave. It's, a little thing there. Um, the other one I want to show you is total weight by position. Uh, this will actually work out how much weight in kilograms is hanging off of each position. So if you had all the you know, LX1, LX2, LX3, it will tell you what the total weight of that bar is. That's really handy if you're going into some venues where uh, certainly if you have a counterweight system and have to load weights or if you have um, yeah, uh, motors that have a weight limit on them, you can just double check everything's going to be at the right height. The only thing I'd say is, you know, don't just rely on this entirely. Don't take it for red. You still do your own calculation, but it's a good guide while you're setting things up. You can just do a little bit of analysis as you're going. You say, well, if your fixture weight gets to 500 kilos and you've got 500 kilo motors, you uh, you might think, well, okay, I've reached my limit, and then I've got to add the cables on, and you need to allow a little bit extra. Um, you don't want to be, you know, right up against the edge. So you, you can think, okay, I need to spread this out onto two bars, or put more motors in, or you know, go for a higher rated motor. So that there's uh, a lot of benefits in knowing that information, but uh, do not rely on it. Do not say to somebody, right, I've checked it, it's absolutely guaranteed, because WYSIWYG tells me that the fixture weight is all fine. 
that that wouldn't uh, fly in the face of a, a legal battle if you end up causing harm to someone because you didn't calculate it correctly. Can't stress that enough. So yeah, so we're going to go through this in detail later. There's a whole chapter on presentation mode, but you know, just as an overview, that uh, gives you an idea of, this, of the reports view. We've also got plots. Now, plots and worksheets are slightly different, but they look the same. Uh, I'll explain it more later, but the idea is, is that in new plots, we can create how we want the plot to look. So we might sort of move that number around a bit. We might decide to actually move that along the bar because we're not happy. You know, that's actually where we want to show it on the plan. Maybe it clashes with something else. Now you might have a plot for a boom, just a boom on its own. You might do a plot for a section. And then what happens is that you put it into a worksheet. The worksheet, oh sorry, not worksheet, it's layout. And the layout becomes a uh, the, the document you actually print. So there you've got a plan and you've got your section. Um, and you can't edit things in here within the plan. You edit the entire object, so we move that around on the page. And we can add in some of our reports, so our instrument count can go in there. And I was saying earlier about how we can add in all of our production information. That would all appear here. So you start to get a, a nice little document that created that you can print off and send to someone as a PDF. Uh, the, the logo you get from the image, so you can put your logo in there. And worksheets, sorry for explaining that wrong. Worksheets are just some notes, so you might just add in your own notes, whatever you want. They put some in there for you. Uh, a standard things that they think that everyone needs to know that all fixtures have safety chains of course does that need mentioning um, maybe maybe in some places you go to so uh, all of these uh, notes can be added here and then you can apply that to your layout as a, uh, as a as a feature I think if you go to large layout so I'll cover this later there's two different versions there so they put a nice little isometric view in of our of our show and there's our notes there so it says all fixtures have safety chains and there are a few more reports uh, and we can create more layouts layouts that are specifically made for you know a, a certain user of the information you might want a different plan that goes to uh, a technician versus the one that's used by the ELD and you might create one plot but you might just lay it out differently on different size piece of paper but yeah we're going to do this in detail later because it's uh, there's a whole whole load of work there to to make this work properly Okay, and that is the end of the presentation view for Lesson 12.